Hey, hi, hello, welcome back. Vault 6 for Vault here. Today I'm bringing you another YouTube video on how to motion track Minecraft with Replay Mod. Um, this one is different to the other two because this is a different technique rather than just how to actually do it. Um, this is the what I like to call the cycles method because by rendering in cycles in Blender, there is no need to export the depth map which means that you don't need to export the image sequence as a .txr sequence, which then means that you can instead render it as a PNG sequence or an MP4 sequence, MP4 video if you would like, and this greatly reduces the file size. So this tutorial, will, I'm assuming in this tutorial that you would already know how to motion track, and so I will not be going over of the basic techniques, this will just be a very simplified tutorial for those that already know how to do this. So let's get started. So I'm just quickly going to get some footage. This is an ocean which isn't too good, but oh well, we can make it work. And with this technique, Glass should also work, so we're just going to add in some glass. If not, I'll just add a little notice on the screen, but I'm pretty sure it works. Okay, so start recording. Oh, okay, I messed that one up, so let's just stop that and then start a new recording. So we're going to walk up, play some water, walk around here. Place some more water. Then we're going to walk around here. Place some more water. And then we're just going to left click in the sky. And this is just going to be set as a fluid info. Okay, there we go. Stop that recording. Save and quit. This will create two files. Um, they will be labeled one and two. So, or 0 and 1, 0 was the first one, so just click done, but 0 is the one I messed up, so we can delete that. Then this one's 30 seconds, which is a nice link, so just load up your replay file. Then don't forget to press P to pause it. Fly over to the player. Sadly, there are only two speeds, but that's fine. Make sure to go to 0, 0, time 0, 0 not zero zero location okay and then just make sure to and just spectate your player add the key oh pardon me add the keyframes there we go nice quite a simple path okay so this time what you can actually do is set this to a png sequence you do not need the depth map Oops. depth map and then just export it as it is, obviously in the correct file. See you in Blender. All right, so now I just do the normal, oh, wait, let me just put it full screen, there we go. Just make sure, oops, my audio change. There we go, I'll change that in post so it's not too loud. Make sure to set your frame rate to the correct one, and then import the camera, locate where the camera is, Import the camera. There we go. Then set the final frame. I know mine was about 716. Oh no, 916. I think. 913? 911. 912, I think it's actually, because it's obviously starts from frame zero. Okay, so now we'll set up the compositing nodes quickly. For this, all we need is an alpha over. That's it. And then obviously the image sequence. So just select 0.png. Then it already sets it to sRGB. So that's minus 2. Start with frame of 0. Then frames of 911. And then obviously just set up your scene, which I'll do quickly now.
Okay, so just a little tip, if you are using glass, make sure to connect the alpha down into the alpha so that you can actually see the glass. Then you might also want to turn on back face cutting and then make sure our alpha sets to alpha blend, but then we're going to be using cycles so it wouldn't matter too much. The only issue of exporting with cycles is that the actual player hand will not show. Um, so you'll have to add that in post. So you might want to, when you're exporting the replay mod, press B and then hide the player. Okay, so once you have this, obviously, set up your texture, I'm just going to make it a quick once just transmission, blue, set it over to cycles, set it to GPU, I just add all my stuff, uh, viewport denoising to, um, transparent, transparent glass film. Then I'll add Super Image Denoiser. Just a few add ons I have. You don't need these. And set this to that shading tab. So, to quickly make a good texture, just up this to about there. Then go back to Object. Um, wait for that. Okay, so this is the main part of the technique. If you go down to visibility, enable shadow capture, and that's it pretty much. Ah, yeah, as you can see, the glass didn't work too well. Can't remember how to fix that exactly, but now if you render it with F12, let's go over to rendering. The good thing about using a shadow catcher is you get the correct refraction on your image, and well, you also get shadows. But, as you can see here, this blocks the need for, well, the depth map. Depth map. And now once this composites together, so I will try and sort out the issue of the glass. I will. I'm pretty sure it's just where you have a transparent, the, the transparent water. And if you set this to have no transmission, then that would work. And look, now you see this is rendered over. Oh, that did render. However, that will only render in front of this object, not the water. So when there's water there, it will render behind. So you will have to either hide it or add it in again. But as you can see, this now overlaid perfectly. And that is now reduced file size. So that's pretty much this entire tutorial. There's no more things I need to add. Um, you can kind of fix that. Uh, I think yeah, I can't remember how exactly but there is a way to fix it but yeah that's the entire tutorial I'll just render this out now and yeah that's it